the properties of gas are one of the few properties that we can use to measure out the molar mass of a compound. That is, if we can get the compound into the gas phase. And one of the tricks is to figure out how to weigh the mass of the gas. Of the gas. One way is if we are dealing with a liquid that can be volatilized, we um, fill a container, measure the uh, temperature, pressure, and volume, and then recondense it. Uh, there are other ways, but that is one of the easier ways. So we need the um, mass somewhere along the way to get our uh, molar mass or density of a gas. So we can use a, a couple of different equations. Uh, this is just combining the um, ideal gas law and the molar mass equation. We combine those two and we get a single equation out of it. We don't need to memorize a new single equation. Another one here uh, using the density of the gas. So if we uh, take this equation to mass over volume, that's our density. So another equation, but we can just use the ideal gas law and the molar mass equation. So um, we're going to solve for moles and then calculate our molar mass from that. So if we have a three gram sample that occupies 1.17 liters at 1475 torr at 22.5 degrees Celsius, what's this molar mass or molecular weight? So we of course have to get our units into Kelvin. So we convert our temperature into Kelvin to 95.7 Kelvin current convert pressure into atmosphere. So 1475 turns out to be 1.941 atmospheres. We put in the ideal gas law and solve for moles. Run through our calculator, we end up with 0 0.0936 moles. Then we do our molar mass, mass divided by moles, as the units of molar mass says, and that will give us 32.1 grams per mole.